<laughs> we kept asking ourselves, where would Rick fight Bigfoot? And I guess the only answer was in one of the most beautiful countries on Earth. Morty, pack your parka. We're going to Norway. I'm obsessed with Vikings, and so I was really hoping that we could do a story that explored some Viking mythology. How's it work here again? We fight, we die, we feast, and then we fight again! <laughs> the impetus for this episode was doing something around death post Rick Prime. He's like literally killing himself for adventure. It was challenging just dealing with like, how do we want to deal with the afterlife on this show? You will have a, your naked imbecile, but first you will work for me. I like that the Pope is just such a generic villain. I like that he's just a vaguely European guy that just wants all the power. I like that he's just like kind of always in the distance and he's like on a throne and he's like, hey, what do you want from me? I'm the Pope. And <laughs> you're already the Pope, so you know why he wants power. You don't get into the Pope business by not wanting power. Sorry. Yes, very good. But we can do even better. At a certain point, we knew we wanted the Pope to power up and kill him. And we're like, wait, if he dies, he's going to go back to that beacon that he set. So we stumbled upon the live, die, repeat that sort of exists in Act 2. You get to see the Pope murder them over and over and over again. And so Rick and Morty get a little taste of their own medicine. And then you have that awesome end where they're yelling at Bigfoot to get out of here. And he's just a normal guy now. <laughs> like, kind of wants to hang out. It comes from this really sweet place, but Rick and Morty are just being me to someone that theoretically they're friends with now. <laughs> you don't have to throw things at me to say goodbye. Oh!